Hey guys and welcome back to 59 Gizmo. Today I want to talk about Microsoft. Now on March 20th of this month at GDC, which is uh, the Games Developers Conference, Microsoft will unleash Direct X12 upon the world. And what does that mean if you've got an Xbox One? Well, it's good news because basically it's going to be a brand new development kit. This is going to help developers massively. It's basically... What it's going to do is get a lot more out of CPU and the GPU in terms of graphics. And this is really great news, so we're going to get a lot better SDKs out. Now, for anyone who doesn't know what an SDK is, it's a software development kit for developers. So what it means is just easier use to develop for the platform, so you'll squeeze more juice out the box. So you're basically going to get better graphics and better visuals and the developers won't have to play around trying to find out how to develop for it because it'll just be easier for them so we'll just get better games and it'll come faster and it'll just be look a hell of a lot better so this is really good news if you've got an xbox one and you know obviously before the xbox come out microsoft had a bit of time to like go back in and up the cpu and then the next month they open the gpu and microsoft have known about this they know this is coming that's why I think Evan going on about ES RAM and Microsoft know about this because of obviously with the tall resources, what that is basic, basically is they can store six gigs of texture files and it takes less strain on the hardware. So it's usually 32 megabytes, but it's like 10 or 32 megabytes into six gigs. So it's quite complex. But if this turns out to be true on the Xbox One, this is great news. But it's still early days and we're going to have to wait and see how it plays out at GDC. But at the moment, I'm pretty happy about this. It's something new to look forward to. I think Microsoft have known this is coming. I think they've been very smart on this. And will it pay off in the long term? Well, we're going to have to wait and see. Now, with all this new technology, what are we hoping to see? Now, I'm hoping we see ray tracing. Now, ray tracing has been in the film industry, in the visual effects industry for quite a number of years now and it's what Pixar use, it's what Industrial Light and Magic use, all the big VFX companies, it's what they use, Weta Digital, it's what you see Gollum brought to life with and things like that and this is going to be incredible when it comes to gaming, it's a completely different level of lighting, of texture detail, of translucency and this, is, this will come to the PS4 and to the Xbox One, it's just going to be when it's going to be a matter of time but this is really good news for the future of gaming and guys that's my video i hope you can subscribe to the channel i hope you enjoy it leave some comments i'll get back to you thanks very much for watching